Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 25 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I bought at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, Facebook marketplace, you name it. Wherever I can source and find a good deal, um, those that's what I'm gonna share with you. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And these items, again, sold for $35 or less. I consider these my bread and butter, easier to find bolo items. And this is a what sold video. So I'm gonna share those with you guys now and we are gonna get started. All right, the first item I sold is this Lily Pulitzer hat. It's kind of a straw hat and um, Got this at a garage sale for $3 and it sold for $29.60. So definitely a bolo item. And I will tell you it sold super fast. It was a fast sale. So um, really, really cute floppy hat. The next item that sold is this Disney Store Moana toddler baby doll. And she is a stuffed plush. And I got her at a garage sale for $5. I did pay up a little bit for her. And I sold her for $30 plus shipping. Uh, the buyer did pay the shipping and was all in for $38.80. So again, I did pay $5 for that cuteness, but she did sell pretty quickly. The next item I sold is this cat hood ornament. And guys, I may have messed up on this one. Um, I got it out of the free box and I looked up comps. I couldn't find the exact one, but you guys know that uh, commercial where the hood ornament and the thing is like singing and they're driving the car. For some reason, this kind of reminds me of that. And I'm like, it was just plastic. So I'm like, it can't be like a big money bolo, right? But I will tell you, I listed this thing and it sold like that. And I'm like, Oopsie, I might have undersold it. So I kind of wish I would have done an auction on this, but I don't know. It's such a random thing. And it was in the free box. And, you know, in hindsight, yeah, I should have maybe done an auction, but I still did really good. I sold it for $18.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Again, you guys, this is not some like high end thing here. It's got 3M thing that 3M tape or whatever it's called that you stick it to your car with. So um, we're not talking high end here, but I don't know. It's kind of funny, but it sold fast. All right. The Walt Disney Winnie the Pooh uh, sealed record. Talk about selling slow. This was a very long tail item. It was sealed from 1965. I picked it up at a garage sale for like a buck. Sold it for $22.19 plus shipping. And again, it took a long time to sell but I did make decent profit on it. The next item is this Disney Parks Avatar Mountain Banshee Dragon. And if you want to see how it works, I do have a video showing how it works on my reseller testing products channel. You can check that out. Uh, there's a link down in the description. Um, I picked this dragon up at a thrift store for probably a dollar or less. It, I think it came with some other toys if I remember correctly. Um, actually, you know what? I think it's in a video. Maybe it was 50 cents. It might tell you in the video, but it was in one of the, um, I think it might've been in the one that said I went back, but don't quote me on that. But anyhow, uh, I sold it for 1850 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item again is just a major bread and butter item. It sold for $11 and nine cents in the buyer paid shipping, but look how little this guy is. It is Yowie, Y-O-W-I-E. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but I think it's Yowie. And it's a little chimp monkey. It's a mini figure. It's super, super cute. And yeah, little a little mini bolo. So uh, don't disregard things just because they're small. And again, that's bread and butter. Some of you may not mess with it because it's almost $10 or less. Uh, the next item are these Noah's Ark wooden blocks. I picked these up at the Goodwill for $1 and I sold them for $16.27 plus shipping. Super cute. Guessing these are probably going to go like in a little baby's room, a nursery or something like that. Probably would have been a good keyword to use in my title. Um, but very cute. The next item that sold 
uh, also came out of a mystery box and it was new old stock. Uh, Sarge's boot camp. It's the tractor and Luigi from uh, the Cars movie. And I took a best offer of 25 on this. Buyer was all in for $32.30. The next item that sold came out of the vintage mystery box, the toy box that I bought from auctions for you. That box was amazing. I have an unboxing on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. Um, I show you how I listed every item in the box. And this is one of the items that was new to me. This is a Fleetwood toy. And I sold this for $15 best offer. The buyer was all in for $20.78. So one thing I loved about that box was how much I learned from it. And plus, I'm going to make a ton of money on it. So um, I paid $100 for it. And you can check out the video to see what I expect to make on that box. The next item are these oil paintings, uh, permanent pigments, oil paint, Benny and Smith. Picked this up at a garage sale for three bucks. It sold really quick. I think I had it priced pretty competitively and somebody offered me $15. I went ahead and took that and they were all in for $23.04. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Loving Family Hammock. It sold for... $11.15 on best offer. They were all in for $16.96. So um, Loving Family Dollhouse Furniture is a major bread and butter item, but um, it all adds up. The next item is this Scentsy Replacement Dish. So uh, Mindful Recycle is another YouTube channel. Definitely go check her out. But um, she has great bolo items. I feel like when I watch her videos, I'm like, that is totally something that I would like to sell. Um, just similar interest in the items that we sell. So if you like my channel and like the things I sell, I think you'd probably really like Mindful Recycle. So definitely go check her out. But she sent me a mystery box of items and I did a video unboxing on it. It's the video that says, wow. And it says, wow, because she sent me a big box of basically bolo items. Um, it was crazy. But one of the items was a Scentsy warmer and it got damaged during transit, unfortunately. But I was able to save this little dish and I sold it. I sold it as a replacement dish and it was my first item out of the box to sell. And I sold it for $16 and 28 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So instead of just getting rid of the whole thing, I was like, how can I make a little bit of money off of this, even though it's broke? And I was like, I'm going to sell the top dish as a replacement. And I thought that was a really great idea. And then it sold really quick. So that was awesome. But definitely go check out the video on my YouTube channel that says, Wow. On the thumbnail. All right. This is a Dan Breckner plush spider. It's vintage and he's pretty cool. And he sold for $14 best offer. All in the buyer was $20.91. And that came out of a mystery box. The next item are these vintage Christmas elves. They are handmade in Korea. They are super, super cute. I picked these up at a garage sale for a buck and I sold them for a best offer of $17.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Minions Despicable Me. His name is Gru. He's a talking, posable figure by Thinkway. Picked this out of a mystery box and he sold for a best offer of $15. Buyer was all in for $24.60. He is also over on my reseller testing products. The next item is this emerald. Um, it's a digital, it's like a cooker thing. As I, I don't know what it is. It does something. You put it in and it does something. But anyhow, I've sold one of these before. So when I saw it, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I picked it up for five bucks. I went ahead and took a best offer of $25 and the buyer paid shipping. And I sold that quickly and moved it fast. This 1977 Walt Disney trapeze toy. Got it at a garage sale for 50 cents. It sold for $16.79 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this classic electronic football handheld game. It is vintage. I did test it. It does work. Uh, also a video on my reseller testing products. 
And I sold this for $13.14. The buyer paid shipping and I picked it up at a garage sale for $1. Uh, some of the handheld games can be a big money bolo. So definitely look them up, but they also make a great bread and butter item. This came out of the Dungeons and Dragons adventure game. Um, it was incomplete, so I decided to part it out. These are unpunched, which is kind of cool. Um, what I did, I, I put them, I believe, between cardboard to keep them uh, punched during shipment. So hopefully that works out okay. But I sold these for $13.14, and the buyer was all in for $19.01. And I paid $5 for the whole game, if I remember correctly, and I ended up parting it out, and I will do pretty well. It also had some miscellaneous um, Dungeon and Dragons books in it. And I have sold a couple of those already for a really nice profit. So definitely ended up being a bolo. The next item is this vintage Play School dollhouse potted plant lot. I picked these up at, uh, I believe that was a garage sale. Um, I got a big dollhouse and this was some of the furniture and I parted out the furniture. Sold this for $13.14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Wallaroo hat and a shout out to Butterfly Hustles for teaching me about straw hats. I've now sold like five or six and um, I will continue to pick them up because they are quick sellers right now. They are trending, I would say, because mine are moving quickly. Hers are moving quickly. I don't know. Do you guys have straw hats? Are they moving quickly? I don't know if this one's actually straw, but it looks like it. Uh, this one I got it. A uh, thrift store for a buck and it sold for $27.74 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this cute little vintage owl gold tone pen. And I got this in my bulk buy jewelry lot of 344 pounds of jewelry. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Check out that playlist. And I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid the shipping. So they were all in for $21.62. And here is another hat that I sold. I told you guys there's what three hats in this video that I've sold. And this one sold for a best offer of, nope, I'm sorry. It sold for the sale price of $25.55. The buyer was all in for $32.05. And I got that for a buck at a thrift store. This one is the Willow Tree Susan Lordy Nativity Wise Man. He is a replacement for the Nativity set. And I sold this for a best offer of $30 and the buyer was all in for $42. Picked that up at a garage sale for five bucks. The next item is this Calico Critters Red Roof Cozy Cottage Stairs. So these are the replacement stairs only. And I sold these for $11.68. The buyer was all in for $15.24. All right, you guys, that concludes my bread and butter bolo video. So there were 25 there, 25 items to be on the lookout for when you are outsourcing. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.